Hi, I'm Sunny Goldberg and welcome to Know Your Neighbors. I am so happy to be sitting here talking to Mayor Norm Rosenblum. It's the last time I think I get to say that. Right, Mayor? well, to the end well, of the week, that's fine. Oh, to the end of the week, but I can still call you. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Mayor, I think. Do... You, you can call me collect. Okay, that's right. <laughs> and I do call you quite often. So, how does it feel after eight years to be giving up this office? Uh, interesting. Uh, it's a varied. It's a relief. Uh, it's a great satisfaction. Uh, last Monday night uh, oh. was very rewarding. You know, some of the nice comments. Uh, but I have to say, and I know you don't expect this, but you illustrate exactly <laughs> what the greatest asset, and I've said this a hundred times, is the volunteers. Before mm -hmm. I became mayor, for years and years, whether it be the uh, historic parade or LMC TV right. or all the other things, and that's what makes America great. I mean, I'm third generation. I've seen yeah. it all the time. I, I Fire department, say, everything. It's an amazing thing to me, and I loved being there Monday night and hearing people talk. As I always tease you, I'm only 42 years here, so <laughs> newcomer, right? I'm a newcomer, <laughs> and you and your family and, and so many of the people have been here for a hundred years. Uh, John Felice has done right. some work in our house, and Tom, his father, his grandfather came here. There's a building in Mamaroneck that right. says Felice, and it just goes on and on, Serlin and, right. and all of you, um, and you gave us eight years. And uh, for that, we were very thankful. Uh, it, was, it was totally my honor. Tell me it. about the highlights. Let's start out on a big, with a big bang. Well, actually, a, a lot of things that are <clears throat> highlighted to me personally, no one will ever know. Like I mentioned Monday night, you get a lot of satisfaction. But as an example, when we first started out, uh, this village was suffering pretty much what blossomed out through this whole country, which is a problem. People were talking at each other and to each other. I think there was a problem. You couldn't go to a board meeting and speak. You only speak before the meeting and after the meeting. Wow. And, there was no, and there was no communication. One of the first things we did as a highlight, as far as I'm concerned, was we opened up the meeting. And ironically, the people that were complaining the most speak the most. That's true, so, and they great. come every... Uh, right. But I love it, that's yeah. democracy. Uh, and the other thing is we settled all the lawsuits. It's just mm -hmm. a common sense approach in protecting uh, the taxpayers. But some of the real highlights I can think, uh, the first one, of course, is this uh, flood mitigation. The Army Corps of Engineers. Which you finally we are, right, just... We are finally getting to a point where uh, it will be, are we going to get money out of the federal government? Uh, they picked a plan. We went down, had a very successful presentation with the Army Corps in Washington. Uh, it was nonpartisan. Uh, Trustee uh, Potok and Tafur came with me, along with Rich Lingelin, who was the man village manager then. Uh, it was a very well-received uh, uh, thing. And now it's just a matter of... Uh, support, when, which I will say, and it's across the board, uh, the county executive supported it, uh, Gillibrand and uh, Schumer supported it, hmm. uh, Lowy, actually Congresswoman Lowy, who, who was always originally, right, and originally got uh, the money for us to huh? do it from the county level. Um, Engel supported it, everybody. So it's just a matter of getting the $86 million, which is there. It's interesting that you mentioned Nita and Engel and one of the things about being a community volunteer is, and yourself, and um, certainly Nancy uh, Selikas in, right. in the town, or any of the uh, people, and you can call them, you can reach out, and you can see them, and you can say, I'm concerned, or they can call you and say, would you be the chairman of blah, right. blah, blah. And it's that kind of communication that I think is quite special here in what you always call, and I do too, the friendly village. Um, you didn't mention the movie house, which is a big thing for yes, me. Yes. Uh, I was working on that for, God, how long? I even made that cake and brought it <laughs> in, and it didn't work. <laughs> so what happened? You saved it. Well, so far, it's uh, fingers crossed. Nothing is, uh, 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 Bo Tai Cinema, who bought the, uh, uh, who's the current, still the current owner, um, they want to, in essence, uh, change the original plan, uh, which was to open up the theater again. Uh, they, they changed their mind and they wanted to have uh, Only condo. condos. Uh, for whatever reason, I think part of it is that the village has a local code that you can't knock a building down unless you... Yeah. And that, that's for the Mimaranic Avenue, not just them. And that happened spot zoning. It, during your raid. That happened, that's And right. that was an amazing thing right. at so just you have to the go right to the time. planning board. 
Because right. uh, if you remember where the regat is now, that was an empty lot for 10 yeah. years. And it's a very negative thing in the village. You don't want oh, to do that. It's terrible. Uh, that represented what the village used to be to what it is now. We're probably one of the most successful and recognized communities in, in New York State, if not the know, CNN, CNN Money Magazine. <laughs> we're number one in New York. Oh my we're gosh. number 63 in the United States. is the best place to live. Wow. Uh, but get back to the communication. It's great. Specifically, we get back to it, but... Uh, well, I'll finish up on a movie theater. So this new, a couple of groups came in, and they, you, you both know, you know, we tried to do different individuals. They made uh, uh, inquiries to buy it, and they turned it down. A new group, uh, a group called Bluesies, came in, and they actually executed a contract to purchase, a right to purchase. They okay. didn't purchase it yet. And then from Bowtie. From Bowtie. And they have... Uh, like a 30 day or 90 day due diligence, which they go in and they look at and see what it is. And I already set up a meeting with, with them and the building inspector, the village manager, the village attorney and so on. So we can explain to them what the zoning codes are, what you can do, what their goal was. And quite honestly, what they say their goal is, is to keep it as a movie theater, fix it up. Wow. And perhaps even instead of four theaters, you know, because it's so big, it's a big, it's one of the biggest buildings. That it's a five-story building. You, enter, you have downstairs. They yeah. could add one or two more small theaters, which would be good. Or they could have a dinner theater. Right. They could do all It'd kinds. be anything. It would be great to do. So and they have something in Williamsburg, right? You yes, can. Williamsburg. They uh, did very successfully exactly what they did. They came in, they redid the uh, entire theater, and it's extremely successful. And while it wouldn't, I don't think it would be direct competition to like in New Rock City or or Porchester, but the theater in Porchester or the theater in Tarrytown shows that it's possible to have a success. And I think the people in the village would love to have that. I, you I have to have a movie theater. It's I, a place right. to meet each I other. I equate that movie theater as if you have a mall, you have an anchor store. That movie theater, if it opens up again, will be the anchor in the village of America. So whether it be um, restaurants or any cultural institutions, you can go to the Emlyn, you can go to LMC TV, and then you can go to the movies, Listen, or you go to the restaurants. We've always said we could have a Mamaroneck Film Festival. Right. I mean, there, there's just right. so Another many Another great event in the village. And we all know about the history of film here in Mamaroneck. I mean, oh, it goes way back. The film industry started in exactly. the village of Mamaroneck, uh, Flagler Drive, Edgewater Point. Exactly. Right. So it's D.W. Griffith you, Studios. My mother told me when they were in the kid, the kids used Lillian to cut Gish school. Lived the, out Gish, there. the Gish sisters lived here. Uh, the Barrymores lived here, where Barrymore Lane is. There's a lot of history here. A lot so of history of, of, of movies. And, and right. I, my kids used to go there on Saturdays and they would meet all their friends. Right. And it's terribly important. I, oh, and also, a highlight should be uh, our tri-municipal LMC TV Absolutely. moving into, which you've been very, very helpful on, the firehouse. Absolutely. I mean, uh, this came up when we were first, as the, you know, the head of the Board of Control. And for people, there's a difference between LMC TV and the LMC TV Board of Control. The Board of Control came about by a tri-municipal agreement between the village of Larchmont, the village of Maranek, and the town of Maranek. And it took us a long time. Right. I was on the original CCC. Right. right. It used to go UA uh, Columbia. And oh, everything my God. We went door to door, and, uh, right. village to uh, right. the town to the village, begging people. But that was the reason why it's so successful. And, you know, uh, not running for office or anything else. So you get true. The fact of the matter is, I honestly believe LMC TV is one of the most important aspects of this village, and if not the entire area. Uh, you don't have any communication anymore. Low Hut is not really a local paper. We the have Daily no Times paper, is no exactly. There. And it covers not only the political events, which is was really created, but social events and schools and so on. It's just so important. And to get back to the communication, um, we went back and forth. I, I helped lead with other people, including yourself, the charge to use uh, the old Hooks uh, Firehouse in there. Uh, there was a question afterwards because of the funding that the Board of Control voted to authorize, and we got an opinion it was legal to use the uh, capital equipment funds of 1.25 million. You can only improve right. everything. But then there was, there, there was a question that concerned that, well, if you use all that money, you wouldn't have equipment. So it turned out the village actually ch amended the proposed lease. The village will take $500,000 and improve the building because it's going to remain as a village building. Right. And the key you're talking about before is dealing with Steve Otis, who uh, is a God champion as far as I'm concerned. Has always been a about, champion. He's oh, been, absolutely. Uh, well, he had 30 years' experience exactly. with, with Susie, right? Exactly. So he knows how to do it. It's like, you know, Lyndon Johnson was great because 
He yeah. came through Congress, then in the Congress. He knew what but to do. You know, but he's, he's going to get another. interesting because Steve is his own man. Oh, he really right. has developed all the. He eight. is across the board. He is I, agree. Eight, I, I consider him as a statesman. Yeah, I there are not too many of those left or, or exist. Oh. So he, he feels very positive and keeping our fingers crossed, he will bring 500,000 from the state. With a grant. <clears throat> so that's a million dollars right there. <clears throat> so you'll be able to uh, fix the, uh, the. We should go ahead. There's a lease already to sign. The LMC TV board voted in favor of it, right. the Village Manic voted in favor of it. <clears throat> so basically, we're waiting for uh, some reports and so on, but uh, there is no reason why that should not move ahead. And the village um, uh, manager, uh, Rob, needs to. Rob Yamuda. Uh, has a couple of things that he needs to. But other than that, we're on the road. And as I said the other night, I cannot wait to put up a sign that says, Future Home right. of LMC TV. For us not to have had a home all this time is oh, just crazy. really it's crazy. insane. And, um, you know, people come and go, but this particular um, organization is just fabulous. Oh, it's, 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 I agree. It, it's unbelievable. It's integral to the success of the democratic process, quite honestly. You lose LMTV, or you're not get down anyway. And the wonderful thing about it is it can be your kid's birthday party or it can be the football right. game. It, you know, it's anybody and everybody's access. So, all right. Well, so, think about the kids that came in here and as uh, interns oh, and everything my God, else. Yes. And a lot of them are very successful. Some are very are successful you in kidding? Hollywood. Oh, my you goodness. Know, uh, was it Fetterman? Was it uh -huh. he got an Academy Award? Danny? Like that? No, it's um, um, uh, Miller. Miller, uh, right. Uh, uh, true. Right. I, I right. mean, he, he... It's good. They should it's all so say, they, Adam uh, Chapman, uh, I can't tell you. Josh Oppenheimer. Right. Uh, all of these kids went but out. It's also a great place for kids to come. You know, we might get into it later. I think the greatest threat, as I know it on Monday night, uh, is to the country. If oh, not to those right. Because the opiate heroin epidemic. And a lot of it is where the kids to go. I mean, this is, when I was a kid, it was the same thing. There's no mm -hmm. places to go. Uh, you have to talk to the kids. We can get into that later. But, uh, you know, it's very positive. The Village of Marinick, uh, again, it comes back to my opening statement, has to do with the volunteers whether it be uh, the Volunteer Fire Department, which is the largest oh, wow. group, you know, over 200 members. How about members. the EMS? Oh, my God. EMS is that way. Wow. It's thin. Huh. Uh, you have, how about the Harbor Island Conservancy? That, and there's a group oh, of people. Right, who were there at 8 this right. morning because Brad was at a meeting. Okay. Uh, uh, it's a fantastic yeah. group of people. Look what they've done to the harbor. Oh, absolutely. There's With nothing. private money for public purpose. And you can go down in any weekend and see thousands of kids not only playing sports, but where do you bring, bring my grandchildren? Bring your grandchildren oh, to play God. around. Absolutely. The signs are perfect. And I know you, you have somewhat an opinion on <laughs> yes. signs. Yes, signs. Are you kidding? <laughs> Especially coming down oh. Fenimore Road. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, signs. I, I'm, I'm thinking about uh, the time I... Uh, somebody had an illegal sign, and I picked it up and threw it. In. <laughs> and since have been right. known as the feller. The, my the red favorite red-headed feller. Fella, that's right. right. <laughs> um, but, uh, okay, we talked highlights. Now, is there anything that's disappointed you, or you really are sad you didn't get to finish? Well, I wouldn't say sad. Uh, what I pushed for since I got here, which I think is another integral point from a different aspect in the village, and that's parking. Uh, oh, I firmly right. believe that parking is... Uh, the future or the economic future in the village of Marinick. You need parking. You come here on a Friday night, Saturday oh. night, Sunday, you can't park. It, People continuously say, you know, I love the village. The I, park. Restaurants I go someplace are fabulous. else. Uh, right. You can, I mean, it's true. We, right. It's, it, it's part and parcel of even things like someone deciding to come in and take over the I know the you had theater. a committee. I know you worked on it a lot. I had a parking committee. <laughs> I know people that were on a parking committee. We had, you know, broad representation. Right. The village owned property. Uh, and CVS is a village-owned property in the back, and it's the same with Spencer Place. And uh, you can build tier parking for free because you have agreements, contracts, and these type of agreements exist where people will come in, they will build it, they will run it. Part of the contract is for an extended period of time, obviously, for them to get the money back. Right. Uh, and the village is also guaranteed revenue. But more important than that is you have a place where people come, oh, I'm going to come go to the village of Maranac, I can park. They even have a type of garages that are automatic that you get out so it's safety. You don't have to worry about people getting mugged and stuff like that. But it's key. Uh, several times that people would come in and obviously call the, uh, the office of mayor to discuss things, and it always comes down to parking. So that's one of the things that uh, sort of 
Yeah, I wouldn't say it's disappointment, but uh, I think that out of necessity, eventually that's going to happen. Now, ask even, me what, even with the Uber and the automatic well, cars, oh, it's right, going to be exactly. a long way, right? Ask me what I'm disappointed about, that I didn't get to finish. Go. Hyde House Walkway. Yes. Actually, and the and, money's uh, there. Uh, and and it, it, every time I'm walking on that avenue, I say the same thing. You know, we painted Laura Heiss and right. a group of kids all painted and, and that. And um, But, you know, now the CVS isn't there and uh, possibility of, God willing, someone coming in, maybe they'll want us to improve that walk. That's Village Jones. So it's really up to the village. And that happens to be a victim of national politics. Yeah. And that's because of the HUD lawsuit. Because of the HUD lawsuit, right. we they did, cut we out all the property. That. That's right. That walkway, believe it or not, is very high, it should still be, uh, once that money comes back to the village of Romantic. We already did some engineering on it. Oh, it's just Greg, a matter of getting Greg, the money and knocking it Absolutely. And Greg had a plan. I have every bit of that saved in a file. Right. Come back. So do I. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you, you but once it to, comes, we can push. Oh, we can definitely push. Right. Manny uh, right. at Roberts, uh, who's so fabulous. The business Again, people. volunteers. Right. They really want this to happen so that people, even ADA, uh, the, in wheelchairs and stuff. I mean, right. when it rains or it snows. It's huh, very dangerous. You could kill yourself. That's going. right. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a good a, slam. <laughs> right. right. But uh, I know um, it, it, there were... Lots of things like that, but we really worked on them. And in five minutes, they could be brought back to life, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's, just, it's a matter of money, like everything else. Uh, there are certain things that you don't really need a lot of money to do. I, I can do an example. I know you were involved. Um, yeah, I don't want to start naming names because, you know, you can affect right. people. That's what I did Monday night. I, I dropped all the names <laughs> and just did it. Uh, Which is on e LMC TV, and right. everybody can see it. Right. Okay. But uh, as an example, I went to... Uh, one of the craft fairs in the library, oh. and I walked in. This is maybe two, uh, had to be three years ago. One's coming up uh, right. December 9th, right. I think right. it is. The local, local, again, local, the village volunteers. And I walked in, and Catherine Desmond was there with Jim. And I said, you know, yeah. Norman, we've been trying to have a museum in the I village of Romanek for so glad 15 years. Yeah, so, so what's the problem? Well, in a very short period of time, I called up Rich. We want the museum. They taught, well, the problem is they were trying to use the building, which is supposed to be knocked right, down. Right, So what we did is we took the uh, building on the left where it is now. And now what do we have? It, oh. And you have a beautiful museum. And what is it? It is very simple. Within three months, it was up. It was completed. It was done. So you have a place fun. for kids to go. Marine the, Education Center, not only right. just kids. It's free Adults. to everybody at right. the camps. Right. Uh, I went over with my grandchildren. So did I. It was great. And, I love it with the kids. Uh, Kyle, we have a full-time naturalist right. there now. And she's fantastic. And she is the so. teacher. And during the winter, she goes to schools. And, I mean, yeah, this is a does. harbor. She's amazing. We've got to teach kids right. to, to to treat their water um, in a respectful and, way, not to throw things in. And, and everything that was in the Marine Education Center came from the harbor. Right. And it, it, it's And then we released them. And it, it's symbolic. You do it every year. But what this illustrates is to the kids to, to get involved. Now, the government isn't very strange. You can do that. Uh, and, and it's a type of uh, education. To me, I always say it over and over again, the greatest gift you can give anybody is an education, but particularly the kids. So now you have an entire group of kids and adults who can also get involved saying that, you know, the environment is very important. Yeah. Uh, we have a unique Harbor Island, which I one of the things I was very proud of that uh, Lou and I pushed was creating a parks department and separating it. Not that there was anything wrong with just DPW, but this way you enhanced it. Harbor Island Park is recognized as the best park in Westchester County, uh, but also shows it's the only truly open access park between the Bronx border and Connecticut. You, you come down Post Finnemore. Road, you can stop. You come down Finnemore and you see that. I'm not kidding. It's beautiful. I, you, know. you know, it is so We get beautiful. spoiled because we see it all the time. That's true. Whether you're, you're talking about signs and no signs or anything else. But you look at it and um, that was it, one it's just amazing. That was one thing that blew my mind. And thank you very much about the signs. They used to be in the front Ugly. of the view yeah. of the Finnemore when you came right. down. Now you've moved them to the proper right. place. And, uh, but the uh, signs are beautiful. I mean, again, it's the Harbor yeah. Island Conservancy. Now, here's a group that is typical of, is not as large as a volunteer oh. group like the uh, fire department, uh, but it's a group that puts their time, their money, and their energy into 
giving back to the community. Yeah. And what can be better than, you know, like I said the other night, you start out with your immediate family. Yeah. But then it expands. Oh, it and your family is your community that you live in. It's That's great. That's true. And it's, right. yeah, especially in this village, you could walk down that street right. on the Marinick Avenue. Everybody says hello. It's uh, right. There's sure. no doubt about it. It takes me two hours to walk down Marinick Avenue. <laughs> it used to be um, they would recognize me from LMC and they would say, uh, I went to that restaurant and I ordered what you ordered. <laughs> whatever. It was so much fun to, to have that kind of involvement. And I, I see it all the time. You didn't mention the Spooktacular, which is fabulous, oh, yeah. which you were our one original artists, guy from the right. coffin. Right, jump. correct. And look what's happened now. Oh, it's it was a bunch of us oh, with yeah. how many people? Right. Oh, there were thousands. The, the, the this last one. one? Oh, right. It was amazing. As a matter of fact, they ran out of the little cupcakes. Yeah, that's right. It was uh, unbelievable. Uh, and and that's uh, Barbara, who's been making those cupcakes right. for a thousand. Right. Um, uh, Steve at the toy right. box. Uh, I'm telling you, when I think back on that, that first time. You just do it one time. Well, look at the um, oh, uh, the historic parade. You know, that morphed, the historic parade. I you watched mean it. the historic Harbor Street parade? Right. Oh. Right. And then uh, I remember Carly Rose Sonicler as a tiny little girl singing the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, that Banner. was so adorable. It was adorable. great. You know, I, was, I have a picture of it, just a tiny little thing like that. That's right. Uh, and then it morphed into Mamaronic Shares. Then after Mamaronic Shares, uh, for various reasons, uh, the village took it over, and you have the block party. And it's just a matter, again, it's community. It, what do you offer? It's so uh, much you deal fun. With, and then you deal with the guys like um, uh, Mike Hines, and he brings in a whole new culture of right. the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And they come in. Once you have an event and you get it going, people will like it. You know, the difference is, if I like, live in New York City, you can live in an apartment house. I don't know you your don't neighbors on the same that. floor, That's right. That's much true. less the same building. That's but true. here, you can walk down. Oh, I went to high school with him. Or, That's right. And But it's the kind of community that, if I'm here three generations or you're here three weeks, hey, how are you? How are you doing? You have a drink and, and you get along. It's great. Okay, I'm going to give you another um, a shout out, huh? um, and that is for the dogs. Oh, in absolutely. The Laura Heiss and my husband, Brad, wanted <laughs> those dogs. And, and everybody is very uh, responsible and picks up. And seeing them romping in the harbor is Fabulous, really. Right. It's, it's a combination. It was good. It's, it's recognizing uh, the wishes of the community. Uh, it goes from one extreme to the other. You know, the extreme is uh, a lot of people want a, a dog park in Harbor Island, but for sports reasons and liability reasons, right. quite honestly, you don't do that. But you allow people to walk beforehand as long as it's on a, a leash like almost any community. And also our cleanup day, which right. I love and adore. Correct. And, uh, and people walk around. Nine out of ten people will pick up after the dog and everything else. Fifty percent of the uh, families, at least, if not more, have a pet, Absolutely. either a cat or a dog. But that's a great way to morph into something that, talking about going back to what I'm proud of, um, and that's the anti-puppy legislation. Ah! And, and this came yeah. about, again, because not for my genius or great ideas. It comes from people like you. Uh, and other people that uh, get Helen, involved. Helen uh, Rafferty was there. Right. Oh, so many and, people were. Right. And what happens is uh, I drove by, and there was a puppy store on the corner of Marinick mm -hmm. Avenue and, and Mount Pleasant. With an unsavory. Right. Uh, right. And, it was a, and, and the owner uh, was uh, actually arrested a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, we can't I, even I stopped, talk about what he did. Uh, I, found, uh -huh. I found out what it was. I actually joined the picket line. Um, I remember that picket line. And then... And then uh, through education, we found out what it was. Uh, we had proposed local laws, and some of the laws we tra based it on New York City law. We really made it very simple. And fortunately, uh, I was contacted by an individual, Susan Chanelask, right. who is an attorney. Uh, and not be a little facetious, but she was a real pit bull. She was. <laughs> and she was great, and she continues it. As a matter of fact, I got an email from her today. She's looking perhaps to uh, start a, a group and a program to support uh, the anti-puppy legislation. To make a long story short, we were the first. We were the first in New York State legislative precedent to ban the sale of commercially bred cats and dogs. And, and it's not uh, that was prohibitive. a puppy mill. Those are it's puppy, the puppy mill dogs. So you can still get dogs. You can have a retail business if you get the dogs from, like the SPCA and so on. That's right. Uh, we went. And I went to the meetings of. Six other communities, they passed it. But what I'd like to see is a statewide. California just passed a, a local a law. A fabulous law that, that, that it has to be um, adopted pets. Right. And, all that. But, uh, and we were just talking about that last night. I, I, I cannot thank you enough for that. that 
you know, even HSUS was concerned. They thought we'd get uh, sued, sued and blah, blah, blah. And everybody did such a great job. And another thing that I'm so proud about is we were second. Um, rye was first, but you cannot uh, plant use plastic bags. bags. Correct. And I mean. Well, we were second, but I think we're first in one way. Rye passed that, but they didn't have, yeah, they do. they yeah. didn't have an A&P or anything. They had no right. grocery store. They didn't we were the first it. one with the grocery we store. We were, and right. that was not easy. And even CVS. And, right. Uh, and they changed the bags now. They they're, they are organic-based bags and so on. And, every and time, another thing that you led the champ on along with former trustee Bermudez was oh, the smoking. That, no smoking. I, I and saw that Andre was great. there uh, when they right. were uh, at your last meeting. I gave him a kiss. I will <laughs> never get over he and I, what led to it was he and I were on our hands and knees. Right. And we were picking up cigarette butts, hundreds of them in yes, the park. Yes, I remember that. There's and, pictures of it. It showed. And then one day, I took Lucy, my granddaughter, to Harbor Island. And uh, somebody was smoking and put it out. And she didn't know. It had a fire to it. He didn't st right. stamp it. And she started to go towards it. And I said, that's it. Right. And boy. Well, for kids, that's what you want. And why would you want to see somebody smoking no, in a playground? Thing. And now even they New York even, City does. You go, you can't smoke on most can't of the smoke beaches, and right. you can't even do the e-cigarettes now. Right. Well, I tell you something because I did a little investigation with our no smoking in the park. E-cigarettes are as dangerous, sometimes more dangerous than regular they cigarettes. They blow up. It's all chemicals. <laughs> I know. Besides blowing up and everything else, there's a lot of chemicals that are involved in that. Absolutely. So uh, that local law should be changed to include e-cigarettes. I think actually local code does it. Uh, another thing I, I know we this could is probably, so exciting. We could I probably talk forever. We could do it later, but um, I can't believe one, that. Yeah, one We've of the other things a we did was lot, Norm. Uh, <laughs> so many things you're trying to do to highlights. Uh, but as an example, and and the strength of this village was there was an incident about four years ago on Halloween night when there was a swastika yes. spray paint in Orienta. That's right. Uh, on one of the streets of. Uh, Claflin Avenue, yeah, yeah. right, and uh, I got a lot of calls, oh, you have to have demonstrations, you have to do this, and uh, not to pick on anyone in particular, but to, to, I'm not taking the Al Sharpton approach. <laughs> not we're not taking demonstrations or anything else as a matter of education. I wrote to all the local rabbis and priests and so on, ended up hooking up with uh, the Holocaust and Human Rights Education Group, and uh, com with the mayor's report, so imagine education, and we had already four or five programs that LMCTV right. thankfully covered. And you got that and whole thing. And it's an education. And right. we had people that were victims that lived in concentration camps. And, and they so talked. On. But the good, it goes back to your future, which is your kids. And the kids came in from the French American school, They'd from never the high even schools. heard it. They couldn't. Yeah, you're exactly. You know, it's unbelievable. All right, we've got two so minutes. Great. I can't even oh, believe two what, minutes. what the heck <laughs> Wait happened. Wait a minute, I have a whole list. You can't do that, <laughs> exactly. And I, now, what's next? you got to tell us that. You're not going away, Norm. No, you I'll and Cindy here. are here for right. ever. So uh, have any plans for? Well, my first first plan, of all, you're cleaning out the basement. My first, the yeah. basement, <laughs> the attic. The garage, everything else, that, that, that's good for a long period of time. But I, I really want to uh, keep pushing for the anti-puppy mill legislation. I want to work with Susan uh, Channel Ask on that one. Uh, I'll keep my eye in. I'll watch the uh, local meetings. Yes. See what happens. Oh, you know, good, right. And, and do that. You know, as ma you might as, even as be I can go to a, a committee or two. Uh, I can go to any board meeting now. Before as mayor, you know, you're restricted to go oh, to different. Oh, couldn't right. go to the land use board meeting. Well, oh. you could go and sit, but you couldn't say anything. Uh -huh. And as shy as I am, you know, I could say like certain me. things. Right. You don't like to talk, right? right. That's just terrific. Okay. We so went to different schools together and we're dedicated. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you you're going to have some free time. You have two seconds. Uh, tell me quickly anything because we got to wrap up. Anything we missed? Uh, yes, actually one thing, uh, I'm in favor of something that probably will never happen, but it, it, it goes to what we were talking before we even got on the air, and that is the uh, problem in this country, people are talking at each other instead of to each other. So you want uh, us to... Uh... I, I, wanna, I wanna communicate whether you belong to one party or another, locally is different than what you do nationally Absolutely. and so on. Absolutely. And the strength again is the volunteers and talking to each other. What I'd like to see is, no political parties in an election. Me too. You 
You're as a an community individual, person. You get your own uh, signatures and you put your name on it. Forget Republican, Democrat. There's no Republican or Democratic flooding or opiate or anything it's else. It's a community. Uh, I'd like to do a program on the opiate thing again, which I did with Jimmy Abadi, which is Okay, great. we'll come back and do okay. it. Okay. I, I, I can always call you Mayor Norman. I thank call you. Call me Norman. For, uh, <laughs> just, call, just call me, right? <laughs> right. Or don't. Right. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you My for pleasure. your service for eight and years. And thank you to and, uh, forever. We will see you back. We'll keep on talking. Right, absolutely. Okay. And thank you guys for watching. See you next time.